Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to build a very, the fastest elevator I think I've ever seen in Unturned, including the one that Nelson patched a while ago. Um, and it is by far the fastest one to build that I've ever seen. Like that is a guarantee. Whether or not it's the fastest one, it's questionable, but it seems to me that it is. All right, so the only thing you're going to need for this, oh, and it's not resource heavy at all, guys. All you're going to need are small plates of some sort. It doesn't matter what type. We're going to get a few more. Um, and then you need a vehicle of some type. So we're just going to spawn in a vehicle real quick here. That'll work. All right. So, yep, you have your vehicle. Now you're going to want to find a flat spot, stop your vehicle, get in the driver's seat, and jump out. As you can see, it kicks us out to the, uh, the driver's side here. We don't want that. So we're going to block that up and guys if this was a longer build i i would just show you guys what it did before i showed you how to build it but this thing's going to take like two minutes tops all right now we uh get back in jump out again and now it kicks us out on the passenger side we don't want that either so we're going to just block this up bada boom bada bing jump back in jump out and now you can see as we jump up there is a uh, part where it's green so at the peak of your jump you're going to want to place as you can see we did it right there so we can jump again and the peak of our jump again we're going to place and make sure you're looking straight down when you do this and so we're just going to keep going up like this this is kind of like minecraft style um, jump pillory is what it reminds me of But yeah, as you guys can see, this is much faster than uh, than one of those elevators I've done in the past, where you um, where you have to kind of like build out and then up, because this one you can just uh, oop, I'm having trouble here. Um, you can just build right under yourself, and you start getting the timing pretty well. I still don't have it very, very down, but uh, we're gaining some amazing height very quickly here. That's probably about good. Uh, and so what you, you are going to want an umbrella if you're using this type of elevator. You can do it without it, but it's just jumping and it's like not nearly as fast. And so once you have this tower, all you do is just jump in your car, jump out, equip your umbrella, you start cruising up this thing at insane speeds. And, and let's say you're, you're one of those guys. You're like, Jers, this elevator is just not fast enough for me. Well, why not uh, get in it, jump out, hit your umbrella, and then start jumping like a madman. Insanely fast. <laughs> a couple things are going to say about this elevator, though. Um, so the first thing is that... Uh, it does not go up to build height. I don't know what it is about building on vehicles, but you get to a certain height and it'll no longer let you build, but you can get very, very high up there. So you can probably raid most sky bases unless they're at build height. And you could, it, if you build a sky base, you can just access it using this guy as long as you don't put it that high. Um, another option is to just make a ramp to drive. Oh, I thought I heard something that freaked me out. Halloween, man. I hate it. I've been watching so many horror films, guys. <laughs> um, but you could just drive it up onto um, like a ramp that extends into the sky if it didn't go high enough for you. And then just level the ramp out and place the car in there and then use the elevator to get the rest of the way. It's, I don't know, it's all up to you guys. And another thing is, um, if you aren't good about looking straight down when you're pillaring up, sometimes you'll fall out of the elevator. So like you can see mine's pretty much perfectly aligned because I didn't move my mouse. I just left it down and kept pillar jumping up and up and up and up and up. So if you're going to do this, make sure you do it the way I did. And also once you move the car, um, there, it seems like if you're, uh, if you're on a slant kind of like a little bit of a slant, sometimes you'll fall out of the elevator too, but you can just readjust your character. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it for this, guys. 
fastest elevator to build in Unturned for sure. So fast. And like even if you didn't want to use it as an elevator, even if you just wanted to get up to someone's sky base real quick, you could build this thing in a couple minutes, be raiding that guy's sky base in no time. Alright, and I'm going to show you guys a couple little uh little bonus glitches if you if you will. Um uh, these are just like interesting little things that I've been messing around with. Nothing really video worthy. But I don't know, I think they're funny. I think you guys might enjoy them too. I mean, you guys don't have to watch the rest of this if you don't want to. You can just enjoy your little elevator. But as soon as we get in here. Alright, there we are. As you can see, I'm just like messing around in this world. <laughs> Pretty messy. Uh, oh, you can also do it with generators, but why would you want to do it with generators? <laughs> it's really expensive. So the first thing I want to show you guys, or I guess this thing, is you can actually get in the train and place things in it with uh, the method of the method that I showed you guys to get through doors. So all you're gonna want to do, you're gonna, it's gonna have to be a little bit different, but you're just going to put a First, you're just going to, here, I'll just remove this so you guys can see. You just get beside the train. You're going to take a plate, put it as close to you as possible. And take another plate, lean it down over your face. And you jump. Oop, I don't think that one was leaned enough. And then you jump. Oop. Yeah, this guy's kind of hard. So you have to do it like it's a multi-step process because you can't um, you can't just put yourself in the train right away. You have to jump into the train a little bit. There we go. See, that's what we wanted. Um, and then now the second one, which we're going to place it as close to us as possible, then lean it down as much as possible. You can see you can lean it down much more now than you could before. So now we should go right in here. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, and then once you're in here. I don't know, you could place CID for locker, uh, 328. Um, so I've tested some locker locations. So you are in inside the train, so you got to think that people could be sitting here. Um, but you could like even cover up their uh, their view if you kneel that the craziness stops happening. But also it makes it harder to place items. Um, so yeah, if you just stack two lockers on each other just kind of hard to do all in one go just gotta do stuff like this uh <laughs> you could make it so that like the person uh couldn't see who was uh inside the train and you can just stash locker or stash stuff in these lockers but if you want a locker that uh they're not going to be able to see period then you can just grab a locker and put it right back here and since the train is indestructible currently, this is like the safest loot you'll ever have. <laughs> and this is a bonus glitch. A lot of people might not watch this. Um, but yeah, you can just like jam a bunch of lockers in here. And then when you go when you go on the outside, you can't even see it. Oh, we can see this one up here. Let's see if we can... Yep. Okay, we could see that one, the one we stacked second on there. Um, and another thing I forgot to mention, uh, when you're doing this glitch, you are going to have to uh, build up here like this and put a large plate. Let's grab a large plate. Um, you have to put a large plate over the top here. Otherwise, you'll we'll, just pop right out the top and... Uh, and you don't want that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you just have the large plate on top. I'll just do it one more time for uh, demonstration reasons. Uh, lean it over yourself. See if we can do the first try this time. Jump. Yep, we got it. And then you're going to place it as close as possible this time. Lean it as much as possible. And now it should be right in there. Yep. And you can see all our lockers that we put down. Which apparently we're inside one of our lockers right now uh, which is kind of cool I've never been inside a locker before don't plan on doing it again uh, it's kind of an uncomfortable experience <laughs> no just kidding uh, then as you see 
we're just, uh, I don't know, we're just cruising around inside this train. We can play stuff if we want. It's kind of harder to get over to this part. Oh, looks like we're over it pretty well. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think we just popped out. Yeah, <laughs> but regardless, it's kind of funny to hide your lockers in a train if, if you're into that stuff. Um, there's one more that I want to show you guys real quick. Sorry that this is unedited. Um, this is just bonus stuff, honestly. Uh, slash vehicle 134. We have to fly to it a little bit, fellas. It's not too far away. So I think a lot of you are well aware that if you jam a vehicle into a place with plates and keep jumping in and out, it'll start doing crazy things. I always die trying to get over here like this. Me. Whoa! Ow. <laughs> so you guys can see there's some craziness going on. Like, what the hell is that car doing up there? How did I even get that to happen? I don't remember. That's crazy. Okay. Doesn't much matter. I kind of want to jump in it. What the freak? How did I... I have no idea how I got that to happen. Uh, I don't remember doing that. But regardless, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, I just kind of plated it in and kept jumping in and out with it in this crevasse. And now every time you jump in, and then you jump out again, uh, you just kind of glitch through the rock. So this is like a... Oops, we messed up. It's like an alternative method for the methods I've showed you guys to get inside rocks. Yeah, if you guys... Oh. Yeah, we're in that rock right there. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Not really worth noting, but I'm noting it anyway. In the bonus, the bonus features. You guys are watching the bonus features. Thank you for watching the bonus features. I appreciate it, fellas. Um, yeah, I, I still can't figure out how to get the train to get destroyed. Like, I can't destroy the train for the life of me. Um... I don't know if any of you guys know how to do it. Please tell me. But yeah, I think that'll be it for today. This is another glitch video for you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I will see you in my videos and streams. Mm. Oh, wait. One more thing to mention. Uh, shout out to Molten Montro. Try picking up uh, the train with the Sky Crane. It's really funny. All right. That'll be it, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, awkward. I'm not editing this video, and I got it.